Time now to, to take a look at what's been happening in the world of sports. Joining us in the studio is our sports editor, Paul Need. Hi, Paul. Hello there. Well, let's begin with football and the men's Euros, another title for Spain. Yes, a fourth Euros win for Spain. Uh, they beat England 2-1 in Sunday's final in Berlin, thanks to a late goal from Mikel Oyazabal. Cole Palmer had levelled for England on 73 minutes, cancelling out Nico Williams' opener just after the restart. But it was England's second Euros final defeat in a row and Spain's fourth title overall at first since 2012. Spain actually won all seven of their matches without needing penalty shootouts and that is a Euros record. They also beat every other European nation along the way that has won a World Cup. Meanwhile, in the Copa America in the United States, Argentina beat Colombia 1-0 in Sunday's final in Miami. Lautaro Martinez scored the game's only goal in the second half of extra time. It's Argentina's 16th Copa America and third major trophy in a row, having won the Copa America in 2021 and the World Cup in Qatar in 2022. And with just over 10 days left until the Olympic Games in Paris, the Olympic torch relay arrived in the French capital uh, on Sunday. Yes, uh, after two months of being around France and its uh, overseas uh, territories as well, French former footballer and the current coach of the French Olympic squad, Thierry Henry, kicked off the relay for the first leg on the famed Champs-Élysées Avenue. The flame also passed other famous landmarks such as the Arc de Triomphe, the Grand Palais and finally the Louvre. Jin from BTS became the first torchbearer at the Louvre section and was greeted by screaming fans. The 2024 Paris Olympics run from July 26 to August the 11th while the Paralympic Games will follow from August 28th to September the 8th. And moving on to golf now, South Korea's Im song de finished fourth at the Scottish Open. What can you tell us? Well, that was his sixth top ten finish of the season. And at the Renaissance Club in North Berwick, Im finished at 14 under par, along with five others, including Rory McIlroy. Im birdied in the last hole for a closing one under 69. He's had to overcome the disappointment of missing all three cuts in the majors this season. But his sixth top ten of the season gives him confidence heading into the Open Championship next week. Meanwhile, Scotland's Robert McIntyre won on home soil, finishing at 18 under par. And finally, to tennis and Wimbledon, uh, an emphatic victory for Carlos Alcaraz in the men's final. Yes, that's right. He beat Novak Djokovic in straight sets on centre court on Sunday, 6-2, 6-2, 7-6, 7-4. He retains his title following what was a repeat of last year's final. The win also means that the Spaniard continues his 100% record in Grand Slam finals at 21. He is also the youngest man to win Wimbledon and the French Open in the same year. In the women's final on Sunday, Barbora Krejcikova beat Yasmin Paolini in an enthralling encounter, 6-2, 2-6, It's her first win at Wimbledon and second Grand Slam, having won the French Open in 2021. All right, thank you for the report. See you next week. Thank you. See you.